anti-NMDA receptor encephalitis. A rare autoimmune inflammatory disease that affects the central nervous system. Anti-NMDA receptor encephalitis is a serious autoimmune disease. Body producing antibodies against the NMDA receptor, a protein that plays an important role in signal transduction in the brain. It is characterized by an inflammation of the brain. Affects mainly young women with ovarian teratoma, but also women without tumors, men and children also. Result in neurological and psychiatric symptoms. Psychoses, seizures and movement disorders. First described in 2007 still widely underdiagnosed disease entity. Standard treatments currently available are often either inadequate or ineffective in patients with severe forms of the disease. This treatment resistance is caused by certain anti-NMDA receptor antibody producing plasma cells that remain inaccessible to current immunotherapies. Franziska Scheib and Professor Dr. Andrea Smisel from Charite, Universität Smedes in Berlin and the German Center for Neurodegenerative Diseases, DZNE, have recorded significant progress in treating the disease. The study has been published in the journal Neurology, December 21, 2016. Bortzomib, a proteasm inhibitor is used. Bortzomib has already been proven successful in treating plasmacytoma, a blood cancer. Proteasms play an important role in the degradation of proteins that regulate the cell cycle, thereby regulating cell growth. Given their high rates of protein synthesis, antibody-producing plasma cells display particularly high levels of metabolic activity. Bortzomib is capable of treating the causes of the disease by eliminating plasma cells. This makes it a valuable new treatment option in cases of anti-NMDA receptor encephalitis that have so far proven resistant to treatment. Future studies will focus on developing biomarkers capable of making early predictions on whether patients will develop a severe form of the disease. This should help physicians to initiate specific treatments early. Thank you.